I'm Sharon Barnes Waters and welcome to City Views, the show about people, places and things that make New York great. Well, he has an Emmy in his pocket and he's been a regular contributor on the Today Show, CNN, NPR, Inside Edition, Edition, Rachel Ray, Dr. Oz, Steve Harvey and so much more. <laughs> but he says today that his new talk show offers something new and something different. I want to welcome Mario Armstrong, the host of the Never Settle Show that's based right here in New York. Yes. Welcome, Mario! New York City where the yes. dreams, I mean, this is the place yes. of never settling. You're never settling. Everybody's you know. got a dream and a desire you know. in New York City. Congratulations. Thank you and so how's much. It going? I appreciate it. It's going, it's really, really phenomenal. Um, it's amazing when you try to actually put your dream out there yes. and then you work hard on it for for this is 10 years in the making you know people no. think things happen overnight no. they think you just got here overnight, overnight. Nope. right you know it's 10 years in the making of doing experience <laughs> yes. of working different stations and making making your path yeah. in the marketplace trying to develop your yeah. niche your brand with your identity yeah. in the last two years we focused on this one thing can we launch our own talk show right because you say that your talk show is an industry game Change it. Yes. Now those are those are big words know, right? because we got a lot of talk shows. Yeah, you come along it, out of and nowhere. You, and you say it's yeah. a, it's a way you gotta back up you those do. words. Thank bro. you for holding me accountable. Up. You thank back you. Up. Okay, thank you, Sharon, for holding me accountable. I mean, look, you're you're a real New Yorker, right? Like <laughs> yes, we don't <laughs> you don't play. get phased. You no, don't get phased. Like, wait, no. hold, wait, hold up. He, yeah. he's, what he's saying? Yeah. What? Yes. No, uh, you're absolutely right. Like, in order to make a claim that we're the first live stream talk show that really is changing the industry, you better have your stuff together. So part of that is having the right team. So we start off with Roker Media. Al Roker's production company okay. is a co-production company of ours. They know how to make great TV. Okay. So we have seven cameras in one studio, number one. Uh, nice. We have 50 to 60 people in the studio audience. So yeah, we're not at the 200 people in the studio, okay. audience, studio audience yet. We're at 50 people in the studio audience. Uh, we have a social media team. We have uh, a, a director that comes from talk TV, mm -hmm. like at the high levels of talk television. So we have the right people to make make this thing happen. But what you need is the technology. Right. And so that's my background. So being an on-air talent, but also knowing how technology yeah. works, we're taking the best tools that are out there, plus building some of our own. So when you watch the show, whether mm -hmm. you're on your computer or you're watching it on TV or on your phone, because it's on Facebook Live, okay. when you comment like <laughs> or do something just like this, when you comment or do something, we can pull up those comments in okay. lower thirds right on the screen. Okay. We can do live voting polls. So we do things in our show where we say, Pick what you want us to do next. What segment do you want us to do next? You get the total audience Total audience involvement, no matter if they're there live or out there. That's right. That's not happening in television. We also crowd produce the show. What that means is mm -hmm. we tell the we tell people in advance, be a part of shaping every episode. Wow. Pick the get help us pick the guests. So they vote. They vote on the topics, they vote on the guests, and this is all pre-production before we even start booking people. So so, the, so, what topics are you looking for? Are you looking for something specific, or do you just say, what do you want to know? Everybody just tell me what you want to know, what you want us to do. Well, it's, well, it's, it's all couched under the never settle mentality. So okay. it's all about like complacency breeds regret. We don't want people to wake up in their 70s or 60s regretting decisions in their life, the things they could have done, but they didn't have a map, they didn't have a road, a, a plan, okay. they didn't have a support group to help them out. I'm I'm talking about everybody that's got a passion, okay. that has a desire, that hasn't really, they know what it is, right. but they haven't figured out how to make that their quality of life. Like, how can they make a living doing what they love to do? Some people not think that's not real. Exactly. You gotta love what you're doing. You do have, but I mean, you have to pay your bills. You do too. So there's a reality of, you know, that sounds all great. I'd love to just, you know, be able to do what I'd love to do. But the reality is I got bills. I got kids in school. I got, you know, elderly parents. I got a lot of issues going on in my life and I like my stability. So so at some point you have to have a comfortable talk with yourself or right. an uncomfortable talk <laughs> with yourself to say what are you willing to cut back for your dream are you willing to lose that uh you know paying those extra bills are you willing to cut down on some of that spending or going out what are you willing to do to pursue that dream because at the end of the day people are put on earth and they want to know a couple things i believe every human being wants acknowledgement appreciation and love those are very important things you want to know you're doing good or you want to be appreciated by right. someone and you want to feel love and at the other the thing is people know they have a unique gift most people do and they want to be able to share that right so so what are some
some of the topics that your show has, or, or uh, they have chosen. Yeah, or, right, also, yeah. No, tell it's me true. something that you've had to reject, if you can say that. Oh, yeah, I can, I can. <laughs> so, so right now our show is, um, our show it really is b between two camps we found. We found the camp that really wants to go out and build their own business. Mm -hmm. They have an idea, they have, a, they have a hobby, maybe even a side hustle that they've been doing while they're doing their full-time thing, and they really want to turn that into a business. So we got a lot of topics around how to leave my nine to five successfully. Okay. Uh, how do I save my money to launch my business? Um, how do I know that this passion is the passion that can earn income? So we have a lot of those things. Mm -hmm. But then we have people that are saying, I beat cancer mm -hmm. twice and so did my daughter. And we made these bracelets mm -hmm. to try to help cancer research. And so you have, you know, two opposite ends of the spectrum, right? And we have a guy coming on to, uh, tonight's show, uh, Andre from Brooklyn, and he takes uh, shoes to the homeless that don't have oh. shoes. So what he does is he collects shoes, but he works at Saks Fifth Avenue okay. or as a day job. <laughs> Like he works at a wow. day job, you know what I'm saying? Wow. But he's giving wow. back in the best way. That's his gift. Over 17,000 people he's delivered shoes to wow. to make sure the homeless have shoes. So, it, but they're not settling. Nobody's giving up on their dreams and their passion. But that's what we're getting. So I think the only thing we probably rejected uh, or not necessarily rejected, but because they vote, they vote. We don't reject what they vote for. Right. Okay. It's a it's a very challenging thing to open up the editorial process right. okay. and not, let people in. It's not just in. you and your team and your ideas. You're letting yes. somebody say, "Wait a minute, you right. think this is good?" But and I think that's the beauty of it. I think for too long, traditional TV, and I'm still on it, so I still love it, but traditional TV likes to have that protection. Mm -hmm. They like to feel like they they have the pulse of what their they have people the want. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Say it. That's it. Janet don't Jackson. Let out control. Janet Jackson. Come on now. Control. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> control. <laughs> I get it. I, you know? I, I get it. I get it. So, um, what has been? I know there's this fabulous guy coming tonight. So far, who? Which guest has really stood out in your mind? So we've had a, a, a six episode. This will be a six episode closing out season one. We come back in September with season two. It's an hour long, once a week show. Uh, we broadcast on Facebook Live on Entrepreneur Magazine's uh, Facebook page. And I got to tell you, uh, I mean tonight's guest. We'll hold that for a second. Tonight's yeah. guest is amazing. You know, you know, he has been with you several times. Um, Oh my gosh, I would probably say, I would probably say Jason Maiden. Okay. Jason Maiden is a guy that many people may not know the name, but when you meet him, you realize how, 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 how could this been, how could this happen? He was the first black Nike designer at Nike. This guy's young now, this guy's young, but he, cause he was on a hustle since 14. Like he knew what he yeah. wanted to do at the age yeah. of eight. Wow. So he knew he wanted to design tennis shoes at the age of eight. He was the first African American designing on the Air Jordan line. And wow. so you fast forward about 20 years later, this guy is like in his 30s and he's launching his own shoe company wow. now and received funding for about $1.7 million Whoa. to get that dream done. Whoa. His Whoa. A story of family, empowerment, um, how to use your career to help you leverage to your next, to, to your wow. exit was just really, I mean, he hit on so, the importance of family, the importance of being a dad, why he had to leave Nike to take care of his son because his son was dealing with obese, obesity issues and being bullied in school and how he had to make the decision of leaving that big wow. income and that big yeah. job where he's doing a lot of traveling across the globe for this company and, and to go through that and see that transformation happen, uh, there was a lot of lessons learned in that show and we'd like to give back and, and give takeaways. Wow. We don't want you to just sit back and watch. We want you taking notes. Wow. Like, I want to know what to do wow. with my life. So I feel like that episode was the most jam-packed with so much information. And you know what? <laughs> what a smile to my face. You have a uh, all-female-led band. Yes. Does a brother need a keyboard player? Yeah. Can I slip yeah. in the demo? <laughs> Talking about we, a plan we put C. You on ta we, we put you on tambourine. Yeah. We put Get you on tambourine. <laughs> Don't you keep on playing? You put you on tambourine. I can do that Let's too. Do I put in the church. <laughs> right. I can do that. You got it. I can do that. Female at band. Female at band. That no fantastic. talk show. That's fantastic. No, that's why we feel like we have a few firsts that we're doing. Number one, it's a talk show that is allowing people to help produce the process. Mm -hmm. That's that's big. That's number one. Number two, it's a live stream talk show where we have the technology to bring voting and topics and questions right up on the screen in in real time. Right. Uh, and then number three, we have things like female-led band like yes. how has there not been a talk I show mean, that's crazy with a female-led band wow wow and and that's important to me i tried to even get a whole female camera crew 
And I'm still working on that for season two. Sorry, guys, I'm working on the show. Female camera crew. <laughs> we might keep one or two of you guys, but I'm trying to get an all-female all female camera crew. You know, I, I just, I'm, I'm all about rooting for the underdog. And not to say that women are underdogs, but I just feel like uh, people don't get an opportunity right. to get um, a fair shake. Right. And, I, and, and because I know what that feels like, and because I know what it was like to take my demo, we spent $20,000 yeah, $20, on a pilot two years ago. To the date, last week, I was in Rachel Ray's studio. We rented Rachel Ray's studio, shot this pilot, brought in an audience, had to pay an audience coordinator to get a, a fake audience in there. But this is what they do on real TV all day long. <laughs> the fake audience you know, on a real TV. On real TV, that's it. fake audience all day long. <laughs> See, people don't want to talk about this stuff. They don't want me talking don't about what, how, how the magic gets done. Oh, Mario, don't wow. take them into the Wizard of Oz. Don't yeah. do that. Don't you tell don't them the trick. Don't, don't, tell don't, the show them behind the, don't show behind <laughs> the curtain. Don't do that. So we, we're very transparent and authentic in that way. And so uh, we spent that money, took it around to a bunch of execs. I'm on the Today Show. I'm on several networks. So I took it around to a bunch of execs. And not blaming them, they just didn't see it. Right. They didn't see the vision. It was more hurtful than how I'm saying it now, but I'm on, on my six episodes, so I feel good. But it's, it's hard when you are taking your idea, whether that's to a family member or a spouse, or whether that's to the banker to try to get that loan. When you get that rejection, yeah. it, it really challenges your faith and your commitment to your dream. And it puts you in spaces. In 2008, though, we were broke. My wife and I run this company. We have a five-year-old son at the time, and we lost everything because uh, we put everything. I told her to leave her. I got laid off from my city, city job. I told her to leave her company and go run this one. We had no idea what was going to happen in 2008. We ran through 401K, credit wow. cards, the, the year's worth of savings. Everything was gone, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to make sure our kid's life wasn't affected. Mm -hmm. um, we had to do that for two years. So we said, are we or are we not entrepreneurs? Is, if this is our lowest yeah. low yeah. and we can make it past Only this, we can only yeah, go up. Yeah, only so go now up. there's no fear because we right. know what bankruptcy feels yeah, like. Yeah. So it's a whole different um, mindset. But at that time, it was so hard to get that rejection and people telling you, no, you're not good enough. And you see the vision. You know, yeah. You can see it clearly. Clearly. Nobody else can really Nobody see it. Nobody has the right to shut down your dreams. They just don't. You need, and you know, it's the hardest when you get it from family. Yeah. And these are dream killers that don't mean to be dream killers. Dream but what, killers, I like that. What term. you have to say to them is like, look, you don't need to understand what I'm doing, but do you love me or not? To support me, back me, back me. You don't even have to understand it. Do you love me or not? Then don't try to understand it, just love me and support yeah. me. It makes it so much easier. Yeah. Otherwise, you need to bounce, because I'm trying to get this thing done. <laughs> and then you came out of this, and now look at what yeah. has come out of this. An industry yeah. game changer. Why do you think nobody's yeah. ever thought about doing a talk show like this? It's difficult. Um, yeah, you make, uh, I get, I'm an emotional type of dude. I wear it. Uh, Anybody got tissue? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, what well, you got? Yeah. Okay. Tonight's show is going to be so tough to, to, to try to close out. It's going to be, it's going to, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough uh, to close out the first season. But, um, you know, I think it's, it's hard. It's very hard. We're talking, a, we're talking a full studio audience, seven camera production. We have a female-led band. We have a, two, two, people on social me, uh, two people on social media on the set. We have four people in the control room just looking at social media. Like, they aren't even doing anything from line producing, directing, technical production. They're just looking at social media. So when you look at this, it's taking a team of about 30 people wow. to really make this really work and make it special. Not only that, not only is it a talk show, before the show even starts, so we go live at 7 p.m. Eastern, we do a pre-networking event wow. from 6 to 7. We have a red carpet, there's a step and repeat, wow. we got wine tastings, we have ah. vendor tables where ah. people can check out products. <laughs> so it's a whole, when you walk in, you say, wait, this red carpet's for me, I'm just, I'm just attending. Just a, yeah. No, you're the, v yeah. see, that's wow. the, you're, you're the, the VIP. VIP. We're not putting you in the Everybody elevator. And, and put you in rows of three. Yeah. I'm not saying, that's you know, what shows cool. do that, but you know, that's yeah. what they do. It's yeah. like, that's not an Nobody experience. Nobody ever offered me any wine and cheese right. and all of that. They right. Just, he has your row number two seat. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You know, so <laughs> clap, that, smile, yeah. be happy that you're here. Yeah. We don't do any of that. We don't have to. We don't have to tell people when you when you see something and you see a person over there clapping, you know, you clap and, yeah. and we, you know, do all the He's gesturing. Yeah, no. It's all natural. It's natural. People natural. are already excited to be there. Wow. And I have to I have to bring this up because I want you to talk okay. briefly about it. You are the co-founder of the Urban Video Game Academy. What is that? Uh, the Urban Video Game Academy was something that was started by three three awesome people um, and and three guys that had a vision back in 2005 that wanted to use the power of video games because we know that kids are into them. 
But what we wanted to do was also get kids to not think about consuming video games, but creating them. Wow. So if you're going to spend 40 hours playing a game, you know a lot more than you may think you actually know. How would you have designed that differently? How would you have changed that scene? What about this character role? Would you, how would you have changed that? So everything from the, the writing of the script of it all the way to the uh, algorithms, the virtual reality, and, and the laws of physics, and geometry, and mathematics, because it's all geometric. Video games are all geometric right. shapes. They're just three-dimensional objects. So if you start knowing mathematics, you're, you're basically wow. teaching kids math. math through video games. Sneak it in that, there. That's it, and Excellent. it works. <laughs> Mario, I want to wish you much success. The Thank Never you so Settle much. Show. Tell our listeners and our viewers again, where yes. can we see this? Uh, this would be so, and if you come from the, if, if, seriously, if you come from Sharon's family, you got to let us know in the chat. Yes. Like, I'm going to give you shout outs. I'm going to give you shout outs on tonight's show. I'm going to give you a shout out on tonight's show. Mom! Uh, yeah, make sure, make sure we got that picture. We're going to yes. take a picture and we'll put that up on tonight's show. Uh, shout you out. But yeah, it's 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, go to the Entrepreneur Facebook page. So that's facebook.com slash ENT magazine. If that's too confusing, just go to Never Settle Show on Facebook. We got it right there. And neversettle.tv is the website. So you can see the past clips, you can see the past right. episodes, and you can watch it live at neversettle.tv. All right. Again, blessings. Much success to you, my brother. This is a big deal. He, Thank you. It's a big deal. And no, I mean, as, you having me on is a big oh, deal. Well, Thank well, you. Well, what you're doing for man. us is a big deal. Thank but you. But what you're doing is a big deal because it's an industry game changer. And from all that you're telling me, you're taking it to another level and you're doing things that are different. You're not the cookie cutter. Yeah. And we have a lot of cookie cutters. You're yeah. not the cookie no, cutter. Say, well, so I'm loving, what I, what I'm, I'm loving what I'm Thank hearing you. and much success again. Thank you. Never settle show. The Never settle show. Mario Armstrong, thanks for being a part of CD Views uh, today. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah.